It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, September 7th, Labor Day. I'm James Spann. Alabama's temperatures trending downward this week with rain chances increasing after today. Check it out this morning. Big overview of things. We have the core jet stream up north, as you might expect in early September. Little upper low is over the northeastern gulf and a fairly moist air mass in place. Starting off the day around 70, we'll expect a high in the upper 80s in most spots today. Up north, flash flood watches for parts of Iowa and some of the adjacent states. And out west, I see some frost and freeze advisories. Northern Nevada up into Oregon, that's a sign of the times. Convective outlook for today, we have a marginal risk of severe weather for cities like Des Moines and Omaha. And then tomorrow, that risk moves southeast to include Kansas City, St. Louis, and Oklahoma City. Uh, but no organized severe weather expected down here this week. This is the rain for the next five days, valid through Saturday morning, suggesting about one inch. Your number might vary because of the scattered nature of the storms. Tropical weather. We have Tropical Storm Grace on the board this morning out in the Atlantic with winds of 50 miles an hour. That's a satellite estimate, of course. Tropical models. Pretty good agreement. Bring it toward the Leeward Islands in about five days. The ensemble off the GFS, very similar, cutting across the Leeward Islands over toward Hispaniola. But the big question is, can it survive? I don't think so. Got the same problem uh, the other systems have had out there. Very strong winds aloft, wind shear, and very dry air. That's the wind shear analysis across the Atlantic Basin. It'll pick up uh, uh, 20, 30 knots of shear, ultimately, and uh, some of the models weaken it to an open wave later this week. Some keep it a tropical storm. Uh, the, the weakening solution has worked for almost all these systems this year. Here's the official track from the Hurricane Center. Uh, they keep it as a tropical depression in the Leeward Islands at the end of the week, late Friday night. But again, there's a chance this thing might totally fizzle out by then. And odds of it being a problem for the United States are very small. All right, model fans. Here's the GFS. This is the 06C run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. And again, there's a little weak upper low over the northeastern gulf. Core jet stream is up north, a cool trough coming through the uh, high plains. And down below that, uh, partly sunny today. There could be a few isolated showers today, but probably not many. That's a look at the uh, high-res NAM at uh, 6 o'clock this evening showing basically nothing at all. So the uh, odds of any one spot getting rain on this Labor Day are small. And again, we'll expect upper 80s. But tomorrow, moisture levels will be increasing. And accordingly, the chance of rain should be noticeably higher. It's not going to rain all day, but a few passing showers and storms are likely with mid-80s. And that moist air sticks around each day for the rest of this week. Uh, there's Wednesday. Thursday, got a cold front north of the state uh, uh, that's approaching northwest Tennessee. And this is Friday. So after today, we'll have scattered maybe numerous showers and storms each day with highs mostly in the low to mid 80s. What about the weekend, you ask? This is Saturday, September 12th. And you can see a big trough is forming over the eastern U.S. And we've got a cold front uh, that's underneath that, that's approaching the northwestern tip of the state. And uh, if indeed this is correct, we will certainly have some risk of showers and storms. It is a college football Saturday, and many people will want to know, do you need to take some rain gear? And at this point, if you've got an in-state game, the answer is probably yes. Uh, again, I uh, don't know if I'd exactly call it a rainy day, but certainly there's the chance of a few passing showers and storms on Saturday. So keep that in mind. Sunday, the front kind of runs out of gas. We have seen other runs that push that do push the front through, but this one does not. And this is a week from today, Monday, September 14th. The trough is kind of lifted out, but this shows drier air finally dropping in here in about a week. So we'll uh, we'll see. It's that time of the year. We'll, we'll start to see fronts on a more frequent basis, obviously. And this is the end of the forecast. This is out there toward the middle of next week, Wednesday, September 16th. Another nice trough across the High Plain states. Uh, the flow is southerly here, and that's suggesting maybe a few scattered showers. Temperatures off the ensemble. Hey, what's the one thing you don't see? 90s. 
We wonder if we have maybe seen the last 90 of the year. I'm not promising that, but it's a possibility. And again, evidence highs may be slipping back into the 70s by uh, Sunday and Monday, six to seven days from now with lows getting down in the 50s, and that will feel good if indeed that is the case. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. We're on the holiday schedule today, so just one video today. Now back to the two-a-day tomorrow. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.